Tyranitar EX has been one of my favorite decks that I have come across in the Pokemon Obsidian Flames expansion, and this thing hits like an absolute truck. Now, I know there's a lot of Charizard EX running around in the meta. Tyranitar has been, I don't know why, underrated in the meta um, when looking at a couple of things, specifically Charizard EX. I just feel like Tyranitar needs um, a little bit more respect. It's very underrated, and I am building a deck against it. So, um, today we're going to go ahead and build a deck around Tyranitar EX. Um, we're going to go over the deck list a little bit after the um, games that we play today. So, without further ado, and be respectful of one of your guys' times, or one of, one of each and every one of you, um, we're going to go ahead and take a dive in and play Tyranitar EX. This deck has been treating me very, very good. Now, I know my rating doesn't seem like it is, but I have been playtesting this deck like no other. And I finally feel like we found something that works for Tyranitar. So let's see how hitting the record button treats us today. Okay, so um, one thing that was found after the recent update is that this is all predetermined, unfortunately. <laughs> so. Without further ado, we're going to go ahead and start off first, and let's see what kind of opening hand we get. Now, the strategy built around this, we're going to play a Larvitar. Tyranitar has an attack, which I cannot remember its name for the life of me right now. Um, requires your bench Pokemon to have damage counters, and this is why we're running the Gengar. Because we're running the Gengar, we're actually running a special energy for us to be able to use the Screaming Circle. And this Gengar has been working out for us. So, nevertheless, we got a really good hand to start off with. We got the Tyranitar EX, the Rare Candy, and we got an energy card to start powering up. Now, Duraludon, not a very common deck that we see anymore. Um, but I got a really good feeling for this next turn, assuming that we... Um, get some good cards off, off of the Chlorless Experiment and we don't get Ionode. If we get Ionode, then we're in trouble. Now, this confirms we're not going to get Ionode, so that's actually pretty good for us. Let's see what my opponent does. So I get the Arceus. I missed the middle card, but I saw a Duraludon VMAX. What was the other card? Probably an Arceus V-Star. There's the Halucha. Not gonna do anything for us because we don't got any bench Pokemon. A Radiant Alexam. What's the strategy? I do wonder what the strategy is. Durable Turbo Energy for the RCSV. Um, not very concerned right now. Uh, bosses of uh, bosses orders would be kind of nice. We get the Iono here. Um, I actually kind of want Iono. Not even gonna lie. We're gonna go ahead and rare Candy. The reason I want to hit the Iono is because I want to get rid of the RCS V-Star. I'm almost confident that my opponent has one on, on hand. I'm gonna get this. There's the boss's orders. What can we get with the Nest Ball specifically? Not even sure. I don't think we get boss's orders. I do think we get this. I really wish we had a um, Ultra Ball to play right now specifically for this. I'm gonna go ahead and play this and play that as well. The good news is we've got the EXP share, so we can place that here. Um, and the next turn does open up a door of possibilities. Now here, I'm going to go ahead and hit the Mountain Hurl. And I hope... I'm only running three Tyranitar EX, so that's actually not bad. I'd be okay with those two cards that were sacked. We just got this, if you guys didn't see. Very cool art. Very, very beautiful art. Okay, so one thing I can possibly foresee is my opponent switching out to the RCS V. I know they're going to evolve to RCS V Star, and I'm pretty sure this is the card that they got earlier with the Adventures Discovery. And they're going to go ahead and evolve to Duraludon V Max. Skyscraper isn't going to do much to us, so not very um, worrisome. What is worrisome is this right here. So there's the Starbirth. Makes me wonder what my opponent is going to hit us with. The good news is we got 120 damage counters on this, so if we can get rid of this and something else um, with this, we should be able to wrap up the game. I kind of should have Iono'd in hindsight, to be honest. But hindsight is 50-50. I think that the best play would have been Iono, but I really don't want to get rid of this right now. Let's 
I wonder what they picked up. They picked up an escape rope. I'm sacking off my Pidgey. We're running two Pidgey. We're gonna get knocked out here, but that's perfectly fine because um, we're gonna try to take something next turn. I don't think we will be able to take the Arceus for obvious reasons, but um, we'll see. Okay, so next turn, I'm definitely gonna hit the Iono. Because I don't want to get bossed up onto my Tyranitar. There's a tar double turbo energy, so you're going to knock us out and you're going to power this up. Let's see what happens, though. It's a no-brainer to power this up. Yep. This is when I wish. This is where I wish that Tyranitar EX was just a regular EX and not Terra. Okay, so we're no brainer. We're gonna bring the Tyranitar EX here. Um, what do we get? We get a Larvitar here. We're definitely gonna hit the Iono here. We're gonna shuffle this Umbreon V Max back into the deck. Get a brand new hand here, and this is something I'm okay with because we're gonna go ahead and play the Squobit here. We're gonna play the Puppetar here, and um, honestly. I know this kind of seems like a, like, I don't know what, but we're, we're going to do that. I don't think there's a point for us super rotting yet. And what we're going to go ahead and do is we're just going to hit the light, the uh, lightning rampage. And we should be able to live another turn. Now, um, ultimately I'm going to have to use the ultra ball next turn. I'm probably going to have to get rid of this. Floorless experiment is a little bit valuable for us. We need to keep up this pressure against my opponent. Now, here is where I wish I had the Gengar with the Ultra Ball. It would have been super good right now. They're probably going to get the Umbreon V-Star. That wouldn't surprise me, to be honest, if they do. There it is. Or, sorry, V-Max. We're going to play it. What are you going to boss me up to, though? What is there to boss me up to? If I were my opponent, I would have saved that. Totally would have saved that. You can bring that in, that's perfectly fine. The only bad news is that they're going to probably power up their... Uh, their Umbreon. It only makes sense for them to power it up. I haven't discarded any energy, so aside from what's being played right now, I don't know what's being ran. Nothing. Oh, there it is. Okay. Max Darkness is going to hurt later on. There's another one. We're going to play the, the Tyranitar. It's a no-brainer no here. Okay, so what we're going to go ahead and do next, there's the Tyranitar. Right off the bat, we're going to play this. Bring another one of these. We don't got a Pidgey. Um, dang it. I don't even know what to do here. I think Pidgeot is good. Okay, I got an idea. I do have a really good idea. Okay, so obviously we're going to go ahead and keep this. What we're going to have to do, we're going to have to play the Ultra Ball. I'm going to get rid of... Um, I'm going to get rid of this for sure, and I'm going to get rid of this. And the reason behind that is because we're going to go ahead and play this. I got rid of my Super Rod, didn't I? I did. Okay, so we're at a spot where I'm going to have to do this. I'm going to get rid of this next. Arvin is a little valuable for us, so I'm going to keep Arvin, and we're going to go ahead and bring in... We're going to bring in another um, Tyranitar. Because I'm keeping my Arvin, we can at least sack this thing off. And... Um, Bring in the rare candy with Arvin. So we're going to play this here. This is going to allow us to do 250 damage every single time. And this is super good right here. So not only do we get our first knockout, we're officially tied. We're officially tied. We have no damage counters here. And I should be able to take this next turn. Because you have how much? 210, 250. It's ours. Should be ours. Nest Ball's gonna allow me to bring in a Bidoof. I'm definitely gonna play Arvin next turn. There you are. Oh, this is gonna be beautiful. 
Very beautiful. And then, yeah, we should really... We should be in a good position here. Very good position. I am a little bit nervous. <laughs> I know I have a pretty good chance of winning this, but I'm very nervous for no reason. Okay, so this should go down this upcoming turn. We get the escape rope. Uh, I'm going to save that, to be honest with you. We're going to go ahead and just go with our usual strategy here. Um, play that thing. We're going to go ahead and play this. And we're going to get the rare candy and our experience share. Our experience share is going to be very handy. Then we're going to go ahead and attach here. Obviously, we're going to just evolve. There's no reason why we shouldn't. Especially because we're going to be able to attack shortly. And here, we're simply going to hit the lightning rampage. And we're going to get our three prize cards. And um, boss's orders? Question mark? Give me a boss's orders. I haven't even checked my what's in my prize pool, so... Okay, so we're set up for success. Our Tyranitar is going to go down. What I do like about this next turn is I'll have the Bibero. So I can evolve our Bidoof. Obviously, I'm going to play this. And I'm going to go ahead and use this. I'm not going to play Iono. Playing Iono is not going to be a good idea for us. Going to move two damage counters anywhere you want. Move them anywhere you want. Probably going to hit this. It only makes sense for them to hit this. And boss's orders wins me the game. It's going to win us the game if we can get the boss's orders. Max Darkness is obviously going to knock us out. But I, I like where we're at, to be honest with you. Very, very good place right now. I really like where we're at. Okay. Here we go. A little bit nervous here. Okay, so here's our Pidgeot. We don't need Pidgeot in this game. We're going to play this here. Um, we might as well level ball and just bring in a Pidgey here. Doesn't hurt to have it. And simply put, we're going to go ahead and use our Nest Dash. See if we can get a boss's orders. We get the Gallade. Might as well play it. Might as well play it. We're going to go ahead and draw our five. Mmm. Didn't get anything. And that's fine. Switch might come in handy. Okay. So here's what we're going to do. Here is what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and hit the lightning rampage. And we should actually have this in the bag. Yeah, we're fine. This is a W. Unless they have a boss's orders then, and they hit my Gallade, then I'm probably... Not even that, I should be okay. I should be fine. And I think my opponent realizes this. They're probably gonna concede. If I had a dollar for every time I'd concede. Or not me, but my opponent. There's the boss. I still don't think this does anything for my opponent. They don't know I have the switch on hand. Now, if they hit the Iono, then I'm in big trouble. Max Darkness, we're good. They think they've won. A little do they know that we got this in the bag. Surprise! <laughs> Lightning Rampage, and this is game. Very good result of game one. We beat a Duraludon V Max deck. That's actually pretty good. Considering that we're considered a slow deck. This deck actually excels when it goes first, like most decks do. But um, depending on our opening hand, we might we might be able to get away with uh with going second. So let's see. And we don't have to mulligan. We do have the Larvitar. Ultra Ball is on play. So let's see what we can do. That's going to be it for us. And my opponent starts with the Charmander. Okay. Considering they started with the Charmander, it is a little bit worrisome in the event they have like a rare candy or something in hand. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to counter by going to a Larvitar here. 
I don't mind powering this one up. And we level ball here. The reason we're, or sorry, Ultra Ball. The reason we're going Ultra Ball is because this will let me get the Bidoof. And then if my opponent does not Iono, we'll be good next turn. We'll be good next turn because we'll be able to set up the Bibero, refresh our hand, and go from there. I'm hoping we can get set up first. There's another Fire Energy card. And there's the Radiant Charizard. And there's the Iono. That's really unfortunate for us. That's the last thing I was hoping for. Okay, so off to a new hand. We do have the Tyranitar. We don't got a rare candy like my opponent does here. Oh boy, this is exactly what I was afraid of. I had a feeling that whoever was going to go first was going to get the advantage here. And my opponent sure did. Infernal Rain is going to knock us out. And this kind of changes um, a lot of things. I'm going to sack off my Bidoof. We got no choice but to sack this off. Okay. Obviously, the play is to Pidgey. Then we're going to go ahead and bring in a um, another Larkatar. Let's see what we can get with the Chlorless Experiment. So we get the Pidgeotto, which is actually pretty nice. And... I think that'll be good. That'll serve us well. Unfortunately, we can't do anything right now with the Pidgeotto. But we do play this. We're going to get another one of these going. And I'm going to play Ultra Ball. Honestly, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to get rid of the Pidgeotto. I know we just got it. But the reason behind that is because I... Nope, that's not going to do anything for us next. I do want to take the time to get the Puppetar. Because I'm going to go ahead and start setting up. I cannot afford to wait right now. We're going to play that. And then next turn, we should be okay. We should be okay next turn. We're obviously going to get knocked out here. That's a gimme. Route 1. That's pretty cool. This Pidgeotto has Route 4. Here comes another, um, I was going to say Charizard, and they're going to hit another rare candy. There it is. There's another Charizard. We're at a big disadvantage. Very big disadvantage. Then they're going to go ahead and power up the Delphox and probably the Radiant Charizard. Or maybe both. Okay, that's a smarter play. They're going to hit this up, and they're going to get rid of my Puppetar, man! Oh, man! That hurts. That's it, man. That's game. All they got to do is hit another Infernal Rain, and it's it's done. It's a done deal. That's a bummer, dude. Huge bummer. This will do. Both of those will do. Super rod. We have to wear candy here. No going around it. Super rod, we're gonna use this for obvious reasons. We need to get both of these and one of these back. And that's gonna be game. I think we just lost this. Now, the good news is that Tyranitar can't be damaged. Bidoof can't be damaged either. But we have our hands full. Really full. I don't even know how many fire energies these deck run. 100% cool with that. There's the tails. Okay. Okay. I'd be okay with getting knocked out here. Not even gonna lie. Um, I guess we rare candy. <laughs> We're gonna play the Pidgey, and the reason behind that is because this will allow me... I have a rare candy here. If I can get a Pidgeotto, 
that's gonna be or not a Pidgeotto, a Pidgeot, that's gonna be pretty cherry. I'm cool with I'm cool with this. Okay, thank you. Thank you for giving me a break, Pokemon TCG. Ah man. So they got four enter or that's me. They got two, four, six, seven. There's nine. Is that all the energy you have? Wouldn't that be sweet? Okay. Here's what I'm going to predict. Um, obviously, we go into Tyranitar. I ha this is a play I absolutely have to make. Can't go around it. And there's the Larvitar. Come on. And I bet you Mountain Hurling is not going to do me any good. Watch. I knew it. I absolutely knew it. Oh boy, that is very unfortunate. I really needed this. No idea how much I needed this. And to be honest, we've lost. It's a done deal. No use. Oh, you guys have no idea how much this this loss hurts right here. Oh, I'm cool with this. How much is this going to do? 180? It's going to hurt. But I, I hear we got to do this. I'm cool with taking 180, not even going to lie. Watch them burn through their energy. <laughs> I would laugh if they have no more energy. There's a Pidgeot. Oh, please don't have a boss. They got a boss's orders, and that's game. Man, that last play, it really hurt. That last play would have changed everything. And by the last play, what I'm referring to specifically is this thing being the first card. First card on top of my deck that was discarded, the Pidgeot. I want to rematch against one of these things. Let's see if we can come, come across another one. Okay, so we get two mulligans. What did we reveal? Three mulligans? How? Okay. And we don't get an Iono. We're running three Iono, and we have barely come across any of our Iono today. I... I always run three Iono, and I feel like I always have more than what's needed. And we're against a Palkia and a Chain Pao deck, which is actually very scary. Okay, so what we're going to go ahead and do here, we're going to hit the Nest Ball to start things off. We're going to go ahead and bring a Larvitar. We have to get set up as soon as possible. Considering that we have both of these cards, it's going to be very crucial. Now, um, I think we call turn here. We started with both of our Pidgeot EX and um the larvitar line when i do not want to get rid of any of those cards we can probably revisit next turn my opponent is going to play the irida probably going to get a um i don't know to be honest with you maybe a nest ball no nest ball would not make sense they're probably going to get a palkia v star yep and a cross switcher they're going to get rid of my larvitar First energy of the game for my opponent. I don't think they'll be able to get rid of my uh, Larvitar yet. Not yet. Blade has had a rough time <laughs> in this video. Very rough time. Okay. So, here what we're going to have to do. Bavero is actually quite good. I'm going to Puppetar. What I'm thinking is sack sacking off our Pidgeot. We are running the, um, what is it, the Ordinary Rod? But the Bidoof is pretty good right now, considering we have the Barrel. And we're pretty much set up for success this next turn. What we really do want to do is we're going to have to limit our bench size because of the Palkia V-Star. And it's going to start popping off this upcoming turn. Having the Popitar is actually pretty good because it's going to mean that we don't need to rely on a rare candy next turn. So let's see. 
There's the boss's orders, and they're gonna get rid of my puppet. Sorry, man. Every time, it feels like Puppet Star cannot catch a break. Obviously, Gallade is going to be our best play now. You can get rid of my Gallade if you want. I'm not going to give you any more bench Pokemon, though. Okay, so Beberil is the play. We don't play the Chlorless Experiment quite yet, because we want to draw our three cards first. Okay. Um, honestly, Iono is way too good right now. We got to play the Iono. Give me my Larvitar, please. No, but we get a Puppetar and a level ball. This will actually do. We're going to go ahead and bring this bad boy in. Power up with an energy. We're going to let Gallade go down. We are going to let it go down. And we're going to call it an end turn. Now, the good news is that we got an Arvin here. Arvin is going to be good if and only if we can go ahead and get um, a rare candy. I'm kind of thinking ahead because one of the things that we could do to start popping off on my opponent is going to be, um, while 280 is really bulky first and foremost, I'm trying to think ahead and I don't know if I should ultra ball. Okay. Nevertheless, what we're going to do, um, oh wait, we actually lived. Okay. That's pretty sweet. That's pretty sweet. So what we're going to do, we're going to play the Arvin here. We do have to get the rare candy, that's a must. And we're gonna get the EXP share. Rare candy. We gotta do this. We're gonna play this right here. And we're gonna go ahead and grab a Gengar, just in case we can get another Ultra Ball. And we're gonna jar three. Give me something good. Uh, Luminous Energy might be pretty good. Kind of want to wait. We play it. We play it or we wait. We play it. We're going to play it. And we're going to call it a turn. Okay, so Galata is going to go down. We can potentially do some damage if the um, Palky stays. Palky is obviously going to stay. Chin Pao is going to be a problem. Okay, so we're going to obviously get rid of this thing, and then Chin Pao. The good news is that my opponent doesn't have any signs of a Bexcalibur, it doesn't have any signs of a, of a Frigibex or anything like that. So this means that we're going to be able to get rid of it this next turn. Chin Pao is going to be a problem. Not yet, though. So here's what we're going to do. we got a Tyranitar EX, which is pretty darn sweet. Now, Escape Rope is... Well, both of those are very helpful. I don't think Escape Rope is good right now. Okay, I'm going to take the two rare candy. They're just too good to not have right now. What we're going to go ahead and do, obviously, is we're going to go ahead and get rid of this uh, Palkia with Lightning Rampage. That's an easy KO, and I'm hoping that we can continue to do that. Okay, we got another rare candy. So we got, oh, we got too much rare candy at this point, and that's never a bad problem to have, depending on the scenario. So here's what we can do. So Chen Pao can do 120, or sorry, two, yeah, 120. Shivery Chill is obviously a problem. So let's see. Don't give me a Figibax. Do not show a Figibax. I'm gonna get rid of the Chin Pao. My opponent hits the Iono. They're gonna draw three, I'm gonna draw four. I still have a pretty good hand advantage, and I still got the strategy advantage with the Bivero. Here's another Chin Pao. No freaky back still. And I'm actually feeling really good about that. And the reason behind that is because, well, we, my opponent didn't attack. Am I missing something? We're obviously going to do this. Bring this here. I mean, it's going to be needed. Absolutely needed. Um, we're going to play this anyways, because we really need my Gengar. Where's my Gengar? Bring me my Gengar. Still nothing tremendous. <laughs> nothing great. Okay, what um, Pokemon cards do I have? Gallade is going to be pretty useful later. And so are the Pidgeot. So we're going to do this. Gallade. Pidgeot, Pidgeot. Um, actually, one Pidgeot. And Puppetar. That's going to be pretty good. Okay. 
We're gonna go ahead and play another Nest Ball. We're gonna bring in the Glade because Glade is gonna be pretty handy eventually once we get another set of um, prize cards. Then we're gonna go ahead and bring in the Puppetar. We should be able to evolve. Nope. Okay. Give me something good. Nothing great again. That's perfectly fine because um, next turn we could actually hit the Squobit. Squobit's actually gonna be pretty good. I'm good with Gallade. We're gonna hit the Gallade here. And honestly, we Lightning Rampage. I don't want to discard the top two cards in case I need something that's coming up. Okay. Chen Pao takes 150. I'm still surprised that we have not seen the Freaky Backs. Like, that blows my mind. Why isn't this deck running Freaky Backs? There's the Iridia. If my opponent was running Freaky Backs, I'm pretty sure we would have been in done a long time ago, considering the start that we've had to this match. Palkia and Cross Switcher. There's another Palkia. And that scares me at this point. Very scary. Star Portal, my opponent can actually get rid of us now. They can get rid of us. There's the Hellblade, and that's going to do enough to knock us out. They discarded all of their energy. I don't know if that was 100% worth for my opponent. Here's the good news. Good news is that we got the Gallade and we can honestly come in. We can come in. Boss's orders is pretty handy. We're gonna do this. We're gonna do that. Um, I'm cool squoviting. We're gonna go ahead and do the Nest Dash. Red Candy um, is actually pretty good. Can I get an energy though? And I get no energy! What is this, boys? Okay, we're getting an energy card here. We have to get an energy card. Cannot go without an energy card. That is crazy. Look how cool that looks, by the way. Okay. Can we knock out? 120? We can knock out, right? Yep, I ain't going crazy. My math is enough. We're gonna go ahead and hit the, the sword. And this thing's gonna do even more damage this upcoming turn. I think we've won. Considering my opponent does not have a Chen Pao, I think we've won. Gengar is pretty good to have. Nervous for no reason again. Really want to rematch against the Tyranitar. Oh, wait a minute. Boss's Orders doesn't finish this. Does it? Melanie. Oh, that's a problem. Especially if my opponent has a cross switcher, it's a huge problem. It's a liability. Oh no, we just lost. I, sh I knew I should have been nervous. Boys, I am very in awe right now because... This deck, I kid you not, it's really good. These V Pokemon have been very, very um, consistent. Because it doesn't require any evolution, if you think about it. That's crazy to me. But I got to really... Wait a minute. Did we just win? We just won. Did you... My opponent doesn't have an energy card. Oh, man. That is very scary to me. That we just won. How lucky did I just get? <laughs> we just finished going against the Chen Pao deck. Can we go against another? Or are we going to go against another? I mean, look at the sleeves. Look at the coin. It's obviously a Chen Pao deck, isn't it? So um, here, what I'm going to go ahead and do... Um, we're going to start Pidgey. The reason behind that is because we, this is our only Larvitar on hand right now. Oh, I knew it. This is going to be really good. Really good for, for us, bad for my opponent. We're gonna go ahead, oh, can't evolve yet. Woo, almost thought we powered up the Skullbit for a second. Okay. 
So, um, given that my opponent has a Palkia on play, this could be a good or bad thing. Good or bad. There's the Iono. I'm actually thankful for that. Let's see if we can get the Rare Candy and a Pidgeot. There's the Friggy Backs. That's going to be a really big problem. Very surprised that my last opponent didn't have one. Now, um, <laughs> that got set up really fast. Really, really fast. And I'm very nervous. Very, very nervous. Um, I'm thinking to myself, we go ahead and power up the Larvitar. That way we have one in play. That way we can just bring in the Tyranitar once we have, you know, the... Um, gosh darn card that I'm forgetting the name of right now. Uh, Rare Candy. We also have the Gengar. Rule the region. What stadium? State Skaters Park? I'm actually cool with that. Okay. Rare Candy is here. Oh, boys. This makes me very happy. The reason behind that is because we get to go ahead and Ultra Ball here. We're going to get rid of one of the Iono. We're going to put in a Gengar here. And um, to be honest with you, we have to get the Tyranitar. Okay. We're going to play the Rare Candy. And honestly, my opponent has five cards. I'm going to give him an extra card. Why not? I'm going to see if we can pick up a switch here. Nope, no switch. Okay. Fine by me. That is way okay with me. You can take my Pidgey if I can take your Palkia. Don't have the rare candy. I just... That's all I hope for. I hope I didn't give my opponent a rare candy. Because if they, if they have a free rare candy, we're in big trouble. Just do not have the rare candy. Next turn, what we could honestly do, we can get a, an Ultra Ball and we can get a rare candy and get our Pidgey off. Okay, there's a Rare Candy and there's a Backscalibur. We're in trouble now. The good news is that if we can get my Pidgeot going, um, we can boss that up and shut this thing down. I just hope they don't have the superior energy retrieval. Look at that art. Beautiful art. I'm going to be honest with you guys. I never finished Pokemon Legends Arceus. But I've heard it's such a good game. There's the Ultra Ball. They're going to get the Palkia V-Star. It's a no-brainer. And they're probably going to hit me with the Star Portal. It only makes sense for you to hit the Star Portal. There's the Energy. Super Rod. Okay. You're going to get, what, the two Energy? Yep, there they are. Wouldn't have done that, to be honest. Would not have done that. Excalibur is a big problem, for obvious reasons. I think we still gotta get rid of this Palkia. You can take my Pidgey if I can take the Palkia. And the Super Cold gonna start powering these two things up. You can only assume. Oh, you only got one energy. Okay, that's fine. 100% okay with that. What we're gonna go ahead and do next, we're gonna go ahead and bring in the Tyranitar. And what's pretty nice, depending on what we get next, Boss's Orders is pretty sweet to have right now. We're going to bring in the Gengar. And the reason we're running Gengar is specifically because of this energy card right now. Well, sorry, reverse. The reason we're running this energy is because of this Gengar right now. Now, without further ado, we're going to get the Arvin, grab the Ultra Ball. We're, our Ultra Balls are in the prize pool. So we know two Ultra Balls are in the prize pool. I'm okay with getting a Nest Ball, with that said, and an EXP chair. Okay. Um, we gotta play the Nest Ball first. And the reason behind that is because we're gonna get the... Um, we have the Bibero, so it only makes sense for us to get this. But, yeah, it only makes sense for us to get this, so we're gonna go ahead and do that. Um, here, what we're going to go ahead and do, I understand that I'm putting myself in a position to get knocked the heck out. But, I think the Lightning Rampage is very well worth it. And, if we can get one of the, um, Ultra Ball, that would be Cherry. We do not. 
The red candy is pretty clutch. And now I kind of regret not getting the Larvitar. I do regret not getting the Larvitar. What we can go ahead and do though, um, we're not out of this because we still got the Squove and Bibero combo. Can serve us pretty good. Can grab the three energy cards right now. I'm just trying to think ahead. I'm going to have to get rid of the Baxcalibur. So here's what I'm going to do. My opponent hits me with the Chin Pao and I, have I definitely hope that they hit me with the Chin Pao. I'm going to get rid of the Baxcalibur. I have to get rid of it. I got to get rid of it. That's a non-negotiable. Oh boy. The good news is that four energy cards is not gonna be enough to knock out the Tyranitar. Um, as a matter of fact, what I'm kind of thinking here is, oh, that kind of disrupt things. Give me back the boss. No. Nope. They said you're not getting your boss back. <laughs> Is five enough to knock us out? I think it's 320. Oh, it's 300. This is Skater's part. What are you planning? Escape rope? You can keep my Gengar. You got a boss's orders in play, don't you? You got a boss's orders. I got it. I got a good feeling about that. Oh no, you played the I O no. You can't. You can't touch me with the boss's orders, even if you did have it. This is where I wish I had my boss's orders. Bring this back in. Floorless experiment might be pretty good next turn. Nest ball all the way. We gotta play this. We're gonna play that. We're gonna experiment with things, whatever that means. Ooh. 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 This is gonna be good. I really want a Pidgeotto here. <laughs> I really do want a Pidgeotto here. Okay. What we're gonna go ahead and do, we are gonna play the Pidgeotto here. Oh, wrong card. When I bring in the Pidgeotto, I can't play my Puppetar yet, meaning I'm gonna have to get rid of another Gengar here, and I'm actually okay with that, believe it or not. So we're gonna go ahead and hit the Lightning Rampage. This gives us two more energy cards to collect, or sorry, prize cards. And assuming that we can um, keep our Pidgeot, we should be able to win this second game okay and second game meaning against the Chen Pao deck so I really wish we could have gone against another Charizard deck this is probably gonna be the last game for this video and then we're gonna take a deep dive as to what cards we're running into this deck I really do feel like this deck is missing something though for it to be even more consistent I don't know what that is I haven't figured it out am I okay with that um I think I am actually. We're okay with it. We're perfectly fine. I almost panicked for no reason. <laughs> We've won this. I'm not even worried. All that just to get knocked out and take an L next turn. But that just goes to show, this tech is actually pretty good, even against a Chin Bao deck with the Baxcalibur. And I've not gotten rid of the Baxcalibur. This deck is, and you guys know, Chin Pao is a really, really strong deck. Especially when it's partnered up with the Palkia. Really, really good. How much did you waste, though? Most of them. You can take your two. We're gonna take our dub. There it is, boys and girls. We just took the dub. 
Okay. And to top it off, we got the boss's orders, which is <laughs> just a cherry on top. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and play that card. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to play the quick search, and we're going to get our gosh darn rare candy. We should have another one. Yep, we got three more. I'm going to get the rare candy, and um, honestly, if I really wanted to, I can boss that up. But we're just going to take the W right here and call it a video. Bam! That just made me really excited, though. I'm not even going to lie. There it is. Tyranitar EX is a very, very good deck to play. And it's going to be even stronger post-rotation. So I cannot wait to see what this deck could do. Without further ado, let's take a deep dive as to what this deck is running. So I'm going to be honest with you guys. I'm running three Tyranitar EX. I used to run four. Four is um, actually overkill. You don't need four Tyranitar EX. The three is going to do good. Try to find yourself another attacker. It doesn't have to be a Gallade V. It could be something else maybe you can find something better than the Gallade V I don't know if so tell me I was um, just finding another attacker and I happened to stumble across Gallade my thought process as to running Gallade is as you guys know the two damage or the two energy for 150 to 250 damage is a lot and can pile up W's in the event you cannot set up another Tyranitar EX you can rely on Gallade as a steady attacker and do some pretty good damage with the rising sword additionally um to com to complement the tyranitar we are running four larvitar um i'm running four because of the consistency you guys saw i'm running three ultra ball and two of those ultra ball were my prize pool i don't want to come across a situation like that in the event i have a larvitar so we're running the two the four larvitar the three Tyranitar EX, and the two puppetar the reason i'm running the two puppetar is because at one point i was running four one and four then I was running four, one, and four, and then I decided to take out one of the Tyranitar, add a Puppetar, and then still run my four Larvitar. This actually works really good because you do not have to rely on the rare candy, which as you guys saw, I don't know why it's a really hard card to get in hand whenever you need it the most. So that's why I'm running the, pup the Puppetar. It's a really good card to have. Um, well, not necessarily Puppetar, but it's a really good stage one card to have in the events you're running a stage three. You really want to run one to two of them. I like running two because I've come across way too many scenarios where I absolutely need a rare candy and cannot come across one. Now, furthermore, we're going to go ahead and rely on Pidgeot EX. We're running two Pidgeot EX, one Pidgey, uh, or sorry, two Pidgey, and one Pidgeotto. As you guys can see, what this card really does, it's a mini Arceus, and basically what you really want to rely on is the Quick Search, which once during your turn, you can search your deck for a card, put it in your hand, shuffle your deck. You can't use more than one Quick Search, uh, search ability per turn, but obviously this deck, or not deck, but this card is really, really, really good. You can get any card you want and do a lot with it. It's beautiful. Additionally, we are running two Gengar. Uh, the Gengar is actually really needed. It's absolutely required for this deck because of the Lightning Rampage. This card will only do 150 if you cannot get your Lightning Rampage going. So Lightning Rampage does 100 more damage. If your Pokemon have any more damage counters on it, this is really the reason we're running Gengar. Additionally, we are having a little bit of an engine. We run a little bit of an engine, specifically with the Bibarel located here and the scroll of it as you guys can see once this gets going it's really really good because you can just refresh your hand as needed it's stupid good i absolutely love that card okay on to the trainers we are running two bosses orders you can run one i like running two because in the event i got a pidgeotto here i can get one and then stash the other one on my hand i don't know it's pretty good i'm running one escape rope um this is kind of a staple this is also a staple in stage decks um and same here with the ultra ball we're running three ultra ball we're running four nest ball and two level ball one for each puppetar now we're running four rare candy this is also another staple switch is another staple um now here's another staple <laughs> i don't know so lots of staples in this deck what's very different about this deck when comparing to other decks is that number one instead of running the professor's research we are running the chlorless experiment and the reason behind that i kind of touched base on this on the video and my previous video so make sure you check it out if you haven't before but the reason we're running the chlorless experiment and not the professor's research is because let's say you come across a situation where you have a red candy you have a tyrannosaur you have a pidgeot whatever the heck it is you don't want to ditch your hand, but you absolutely need to accelerate your deck. Floorless Experiments is really good um, 
alternative and lets you experiment with things no pun intended it's a really good card to have and i really really love this card now um we are running two arvin we're running two arvin because if we have two exp share but also having it with rare candy is pretty good you can run more than two arvin if you wanted to um i run two because of the exp share and um it's actually a really really good card to have if you got a gengar in hand and you need to get an ultra ball you can get rid of the ultra or the gengar and use the ultra ball to get a tyrannosaur or really any pokemon you're wanting you can use arvin to get your rare candies you can use arvin to get a switch or an escape rope it's a beautiful card to have and the reason we're running exp share here is because our pokemon only need two energy cards to attack specifically the tyranitar and the galate this is actually a really good card to start accelerating your bench in the event one of your tyranitar get knocked out or a Gallade or a Larvitar, you name it. It's a pretty good, really, really good. I recommend to have this card in this deck. Honestly, you could also use a Defiance Band to do a little bit more damage with the Tyranitar and do 250 damage. Um, I was doing a little bit of research, and there's not a lot of cards that have a honestly 250 attack, so I'm or HP. So I'm just gonna go ahead and start and continue to use the EXP share. Finally, we are running two Luminous Energy. The reason we're running two is because one of each, one for each Gengar. And we're also running nine Fighting Energy. So there you have it. This is my Tyranitar EX deck. I really do think this deck is going to be really, really good after the V Pokemon rotate out. And this is a deck that I'm going to revisit again once those Pokemon do rotate out. Let me know what video or what deck you want to feature next in this video. I am down for just about anything. But there you have it. That's your boy, Daddy Mac. I will see you guys next time. And please do leave a like if you enjoyed this video. Peace.